Namaste, everyone. I'm Sifu Cicero, an instructor at the School of Qi Energy Training. Today we're going to go over a two to five minute sensitivity exercise on organ balancing. And let me introduce to you Sifu Jones. Sifu Jones, how are you today? Good. This is a organ balancing exercise that we have students do that helps a person tune in to the energy better. And that's really what it's all about in the beginning is learning to feel what she feels like. A lot of you, if you've gone to our website, you can check out the Qi Palm test up there on top where Sifu Cicero goes over how you tune in to feeling energy in the first place or this Qi that we're talking about, bioenergy, biophotons. It's all basically the same stuff. And we're going to use that to help our own bodies feel better and to work better. And we do this through learning this organ balancing exercise and it's a beginning exercise again that you do as you learn to first tune into energy. And as your energy starts building up, then it's one that you usually drop by the wayside as you get into more different type of exercises, ones that build up your body in different ways. And again, we start people out with the beginning stuff so that they can first tune into energy in the first place and then start learning how to make that energy feel right. Because a lot of times people don't understand how energy builds builds up and they may not build it up in the right ways and we want to make sure that they get the best side effects when they build up energy. Energy has a tendency to be very destructive and hot and by using the tri concept that we always go over in the school, going over the fact that energy will come out in a form and you make this feel good and you make it feel cool and then going through the school we very specific and detailed how you actually learn how to do that so that a student can actually learn how to lower or raise their inside temperature basically on demand and they can actually manipulate their hormonal flow and their pheromone flow and it really makes a difference on how you get along with other people this two to five minute organ balancing exercise you want to start out in a good mood and the whole time you're doing the exercise since you're only doing it for two to five minutes just stay in that good mood and don't worry about exercise. We're not going to strain. We're not going to do hard breaths or sounds. The exercise works so much better doing it as relaxed as you possibly can. So the more you can get yourself relaxed before you even start the exercise, the better you'll do in the exercise because you're trying to use your own chi to fill the inside of your body. And this is what this is about. It's using your own bioenergy to not only manipulate a little bit, but be able to teach you a little about the inside of your body. Because a lot of people, they look in the mirror and they see a solid object there and, and they just kind of think inside, well, it's all solid in there. And we know that it really isn't solid at all, that there's all these different organs in there. And that's why we did the blue man chart. And so we use this blue man chart that we look at and we sit in a chair. Then you look at the number on the chart and the top number is number one. And you'd say a thyroid, you look for the number one on the chart and you line it up and you say, okay, that's where it is. And so you would put your palm of your hand right over that number, that corresponding spot on the poster. You'd find it on yourself and you'd put your hand about three or four or five inches out from that area and kind of move it back and forth where you bounce the energy back and forth. Just like in the Qi Palm test where you bounce the energy back and forth from one hand to the other, you would be bouncing it back to that organ and look at how that organ shape is and what it looks like. And you try to put that in your mind, okay, this is what I'm trying to feel for and look for and see if you can't feel that same shape as you find on the poster inside your body. And so that's as easy and as simple as it actually is of actually helping your body because not only are you trying to put good, pleasant, cool energy into that area, just bouncing your energy back and forth from your palm, but when you're thinking in that way, it actually will send good energy into that particular organ. And so you would start with that first number and go with the thyroid and send that energy and kind of fill in there with your hand. Okay, can I feel that shape? And as you bounce that energy back and forth, you do that probably for about a three to five second count and just bouncing back and forth and then you drop down and you go to number two which is the thymus and then you would again look and say mm, okay can I feel that shape on my body and you start trying to pay attention and try to think inside okay can I 
tune into what that shape feels like. And at first, it may just feel like, well, I don't really feel anything. And when I first started that exercise way, way back when, I certainly couldn't feel anything either. And it was just kind of the novelty of bouncing energy back and forth from the inside of your body. And that the fact is that you could tune into that kind of magnetic pushing and pulling sensation that over time I actually was able to finally kind of fill that outline of what that thing looked like. And since you have a picture of it right in front of you, it's so much easier to tune into things like that where you then say, okay, since I can see it here, I can imagine it where it's supposed to be, and you'll be able to fill it in such an easier way down the road. But then you go to the next one, which is the heart, and you do the same thing. Okay, can I feel the shape of my heart? And then you go through that process where you just are doing these very calm breaths. There's no emphasis on the breath. and For the most part, you're not really even concentrating on the breath one way or the other. You're really paying attention. Can I feel where I'm projecting this energy at? And can I feel that shape there? Is it possible for me to feel that shape? And you, you move your hand around a little bit, bouncing it back and forth, and see, okay, is that something I can feel in that particular manner? You look at the chart, and you try to feel for that particular area. And you'll go down each of those numbers on this chart, and you're going to go over and put your hand over each of those corresponding places where there's two kidneys or two adrenals on top of your kidneys. Then you'll just go from one place to the other, and you put that three, five, seven-second count on it. Just relax and do a couple breaths in and out. Try to fill that area. Okay, can I fill any of that? Can I fill that shape at all? And you test it. If it takes you 10 seconds or even 20 seconds in one area for a while, then you just extend out the exercise. But this isn't one where you're trying to put power into this exercise at all. This is not at all that type of an exercise. There are plenty of energy exercises out there that actually are power type exercises where you really are going to be building up let's say your nerve fiber system and the school for anybody that goes through our school we teach like the nerve fiber building exercise which gives you this overall building up and then as you get into the second year we teach you things like the superset which is a very high power energy exercises which if you weren't trained in advance, we just overload your system. Although we want these real powerful exercises given to us, in most cases, powerful exercises just have a tendency to overload a person who has not built their body up to handle that kind of energy. So part of that is like learning these type of little exercises that get you used to tuning into what energy is supposed to be in the first place. It's called a sensitivity exercise, and you do so much better when you can do it in a relaxed way because you're actually tuning in to what the chi energy feels like and then trying to feel that organ, trying to fill at it and make it feel better. And it's very gentle. It's very easy. You're not trying to power trip anything. You really are just trying to fill in there and say, okay, you're probing in. Hmm, can I fill that in the place it's supposed to? But how long did it take you to do that it's where you started learning to fill your organ? Well, with the Blue Man poster, it came fairly quickly after a while, probably my third or fourth time. I started feeling like a lighter and fluffier type of feeling back and forth between the organ and my hand. And then, you know, there's some organs like over my heart where it started getting heated up a little bit in my palm, and I just put a smile on my face and relax down my nervous system a little bit more and release my shoulders, and I was able to stay with that good feeling light fluffiness, and I was able to feel the shape of my heart just that easy. Yeah, it is amazing. If you use it in a relaxed, gentle way, like we're saying, you do so much better. Some people will do something like this and really try to do these power things where they're really pushing with a hard breath or a sound into an organ like that. And I really caution people on doing things like that because those glands, those organs are full of hormones. And when you push on them in a hard way or use a breath to push around the organ, it really will dump out all these hormones into your system. And the next thing you know is you go through this roller coaster a ride emotionally, and there's no need to do that. And if you're doing these exercises in the right way, you walk away with it feeling really good, and you don't go through that hormonal ride, which is what another lot of questions when I teach this particular exercise I get is, 
well, how come we don't do like the other glands? There's glands up in the head, like the pineal gland, the pituitary gland. And, and what I tell them is we really want to keep our energy away from the head area. That's why we start at where we are with the thyroid and thymus area, where it's in the neck area and down below. And we really don't mess with the head because the glands up there are so much more sensitive than the glands below the head area. And learn to work with those glands first and you'll do so much better than trying to put energy up into your head. Usually what results when pushing energy up into your head is you get a headache and it may last for a long time. I would caution anybody using hot energy on your glands because that has a tendency to really push out hormones in the wrong way or using any type of strong breath. Totally not needed. The best way to do this exercise, again, is in this very, really relaxed way. Now, and also in this goal, we teach a variety of these other two to five minute sensitivity type exercises and you can check out our course catalog which is now available for downloads in the school and it really goes over a bunch of these different types of exercises what they do is get the student to turn into in a specific way to the things that body is capable of doing and we're going to show you this electrical way of getting energy out of your body that most people are not that aware of and just because you're not aware of it you can become more and more aware of it and this is one of those type of exercises that will help you become more aware of the different types of energy that your body is capable of putting out and how you can tap into that type of energy. But that's the main thing I wanted to go over today. This is how you would use this particular chart in this particular way. And it actually can become a very helpful exercise in the fact that you put your hand over each of these type of glands or organs and you bounce back and you try to get that shape and that feel of what that organ feels like. And down the road, you'd be surprised you'd get a pain in a particular uh, gland or organ just from working with the chart for a while. you say, oh, wow, that's my liver or, oh, yeah, that's coming from my kidney area or my adrenal, and, and you will actually know from just doing that particular exercise how that has helped you just spending two to five minutes here and there. And this is something, again, that you do at your leisure. You can do it at work, and since it only takes two to five minutes and you just go kind of through this process with it, it's one of those things that you can pop into your daily routine on a regular basis and see if it won't work for you. And then after a while, you'll actually feel what the inside of your body feels like and you'll have this new knowledge. Because a lot of times when you've done that exercise enough, it really changed over for me. I did it for years and after a while, not only could I feel the organ, but I had this mental picture of it just like the chart and I could actually feel when I would touch it in particular ways with my hand. Even though I wasn't physically touching it, I was just touching it with my energy. I was actually being able to see and feel the density of it, the different pressure of it, how it really was filling inside, and I could actually manipulate that part of it just from doing this type of an exercise on a regular basis. I would encourage anybody that really wants to learn the inside of their body and how it feels, they would continue to do this particular exercise. But in the way we're saying, using the tri concept, always using this good feeling and cool energy. Don't use the hot stuff and don't use stressful things in order to check out the inside. That usually just used to trouble. But thanks a lot.